Hey everyone, this is JoJo, and I'm here to do my TBR for the month of July. For some reason, I was doing it earlier, and I checked what, like, the video, but the, like, the little part where I'd say, hey everybody, wasn't there, and I do not know why. Well, anyway, I'm starting over. Pisses me off with this stuff. Anyway, so, I'm here to bring my TBR for the month of July. Um, so, alright, so I read two books. I finished two books already. The reason why this video is late is because my computer was uh, kind of messing up and it had a virus and everything, so we get it cleaned out and everything, so it's all good and new. Um, and during that time, I read two, I finished reading two books already, so yeah. So I'm going to show you those two books first. Actually, I can't show you the other one, but yeah. The first book I finished reading is The Upside of Unrequited by Bec Becky Abertali. And this is a really good read. I really enjoyed it, the writing and everything. I will do tell you more details of this book in my wrap-up. And yeah, it got so much great representation of plus size uh, girls, or you can say women, and uh, no representation of family and LGBTQ characters and relationships and stuff. So yeah, um, yeah. Next I'm currently reading is Go, alright, so yeah. Lord, I'm messing up. Jesus Christ. So the second book I finished reading was Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Throne, Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. And I don't have it with me because it's a library book and I already took it back. So, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed that story, too. I will tell you more about it in my wrap-up. Um, do enjoy the writing. It gave me some nostalgia of the, the movie because I never actually read the first book. I watched the movie first. But I can see that like there's some differences, and I understand why the movie is the way it is because the book it tells you more details. But the movie shows in a way where like, it's short. It's a sh probably not shortening because they like they lengthened it. I don't know, I'm confused. But anyway, yeah, I enjoyed the book. I'll tell you more about the characters in uh, the wrap up because we. All right, so the next book. All right, so the books I'm currently reading. First book I'm currently reading is Girl Code, Gaming Going Viral and Getting It Done by Adria Gonzalez and Sophie Hauser. If you hear noise back there, my stupid brother is making too much noise, yelling like a crackhead. And my other family, they just so noisy and considerate. Anyway, so yeah, and uh, Sophie Hauser, and uh, this is a book about two girls, or you hear two young women, who created this video game about the menstrual cycle. For, like, you know, periods and pads and stuff, and how um, they try to make a satire, a satire, um, hmm, point, or you can say something, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's mostly trying to tell you a point of how they treat uh, women, the natural flow, of, you know, the natural bleeding, as if it's, if it's, like, disgusting and not uh, normal to talk about. Unlike, uh, unlike, um, where gun violence and gory, bloody violence from video games is normal. So, yeah, and I really enjoyed this, uh, the writing so far and the story. It's nonfiction, and I'm, like, halfway there. Um, part of this, uh, is not part of the story. It's, like, something else extra for people who want to get into coding. So, I'm, like, halfway there. And I hope to enjoy the rest, and, yeah, soon. I hope to finish this soon. Next, I'm currently reading is Spindle Fire by Lexa Hillier. Um, hold on, let me show you the, of course, the name because I don't know if I like pronounced it. Come on, pronouncing it right. So that's the name. That's the name. And this is a retelling fantasy of Sleeping Beauty. Uh, this is about two girls who are pull opposites. Um, Aurora is a girl who can't feel, touch, like, the feel of things, and she can't talk, and the other girl is blind, um, so, the Aurora is the princess, and she somehow fell into a deep sleep, some type of curse or magic, and she entered some kind of dream world, where she met this, this person who is trying to find a way out, and every time someone comes near her sleeping body, they fall asleep into a deep, uh, sleep too. So it's kind of like a magic curse that falling upon the um, 
kingdom, I guess. And it also has, you know, fey people, or you can say fairy, fey people, magic. And her sister, Aurora's sister, is uh, come to um, try to find a way to uh, figure out how to, I guess, to break the curse or something to help her sister. So I am enjoying this so far, the characters and the writing, and I hope to finish it and maybe do a review, not really sure. Next, I'm currently reading is More Than This by Patrick Ness. And this is a, um, uh, do you say, uh, the surviving dystopian, or dystopian survival, uh, no, what they say is in the back, well, one of the uh, quotes. And mostly about this boy who drowned and came to the afterlife where he seemed to be alone in this strange world, but there will be other people later, I think. And so, so far, I really enjoy the writing and uh, the situation is very suspenseful. Like, it seemed like things will be, I don't know, it's just really interesting. I hope to get more into this and I'll read more of it because I'm mostly invested in the library books trying to finish, but yeah. Next, I'm currently reading a Saga Volume 6, and this is more like I put on hold, because I'm halfway done, but I haven't finished it since, like, earlier this year. I hope to finish this soon, because I really love this series. It's about two people who fell in love and got a, uh, met, uh, you know, had a baby, and these two people are from two different, you can say, species or race. One's from a planet, and the other's from a moon, and their race is race are fighting like in war against each other and people are after them because they they are uh their baby's abomination and trying to kill them kill them and stuff and yeah so yeah i really love the art the story the character is very mature i so saw by a young audience who are under the age of 16 well not 16 but like 18 but more like 17 to so now read this because, you know, explicit content in here. Alright, so, done with that. So, next I want to show you, oh yeah, there's one, there's two more books I'm kind of currently reading. So, the first one is, um, Horror Mia, Volume 5. And this is by Hiro and that's Daisuke Higura, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. So, this is Volume 5 in the series. I really enjoyed this so far. I just read one chapter. So, yeah, I hope to um, enjoy this, or you can say, yeah, finish this soon, because, you know, tomorrow it's easy to finish. Next, uh, I am just started reading yesterday, and I'm on chapter two, and this is uh, Long May She Reign by Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna Thomas, I don't know if I know that. And this is a new book, a uh, fantasy about a young uh, woman, girl, who is like royal, but she's like the 23rd in line up to the throne. And suddenly, uh, during a feast, I guess, the whole, the whole family was poisoned. And she was like the only person who wasn't or survived. And like, she has to become queen now. And there's some people still out there trying to, I guess, kill her or something. And... Yeah, don't know much else about it. I enjoyed the first chapter, really enjoyed the writing, and maybe the characters, so hopefully I enjoyed the story. And, you know, let me see, does this have a map? No, this doesn't, does it? No, it doesn't have a map. But I forget to show you this one has a map, so I'll show you that real quick. So yeah, this is the map. It looked really, really interesting. So yeah, love maps and books. So, yeah, I hope to, you know, read more of this and, you know, enjoy it. Next, I'm going to turn, uh, next I got books I plan on reading after all the other ones. Mm. So, the first one is Anonymous Noise, uh, Volume 1. And I've been showing this that I'm going to try to read this every single month, ever since I got this. So, I hope to actually read this this month. Because it's taking me too long to try to read this. Anyway, so this is mostly about this girl who wants to sing in a band or become part of a band. And she has, like, two childhood friends. One when she was, like, really little who moved away. And then another one when she was, like, a, a guest, I think, in either in junior high 
or like when she was older, like in elementary school. But yeah, and they both, I guess both of them came back. So it's kind of, I think it's probably a romance, but I'm not really sure. But it looked really interesting, and I hope you enjoy it. I know there's an anime out for it, and it looked really good and interesting. So I hope to read the first volume and the second volume because I have the second volume and try to read, uh, watch the anime soon. So the next book I'm planning on reading is Emmy and Roger's D Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. And this is a, uh, a summer journey. Is it journey? Summer journey? No. A, uh, what do you call the books again? The oh, they call it something like a summer, like you traveling book, like you road trip. There you go, road trip book. That's these two people. Who are going on a road trip to a certain destination, and they, I guess, they stop at certain places, and they, there's, like, pictures of certain places, and other things, I'm trying to find anything else that might seem fun, and, like, it had all these things, it just seemed, like, very fun, and I can't wait to get into this, because it's summer, I want to read a summery book, and it seemed, always want to be interesting, because I read one of her books before, and I really enjoyed it. Next book I'm planning on reading is Ramona Blue by Julia Murphy, and this is a contemporary about a girl named Ramona who um, survived a, the, the hurricane Katrina that happened five years ago, and see, and um, I guess she is mostly like the most responsible person in her family. Uh, her parents are not very reliable, and she had this, uh, what do you call it, so much responsibility and stress over her shoulder, and now her sister's pregnant and everything, and uh, she, uh, she is, yeah, stop, so I'm trying to see what else, so she, we know this is an LGBTQ book, she's, uh, known to be a lesbian, and, um, in this, she said, uh, it says that her friend, Freddy, will come back and sh they become, uh, friends. No, not friends, but come close again. Become, because he asked her to be part of the swim team, I think. Some type of swim team. And she certainly gains feelings for him. But she doesn't know if it's some kind of fluke or she might be att actually attracted to guys, too. And, yeah. That's probably like a terrible way of trying to uh, explain something because I don't want to read every single detail, even though it kind of summer up like that. Because every time I try to summer, summarize a certain book without actually reading the whole thing, just saying like, eh. And just look at, glimpse at certain words. So yeah, um, it's uh, kind of a, like a big book. And I hope to read it soon because it's really interesting and I want to see how it is, um, yeah, I might do, I don't know if I might do a review for this, I'm not sure, I heard some, um, I don't know, did I hear any good things, I heard some good things, uh, I don't know if any bad things, uh, but I heard some good things about this, and the last book I'm planning on reading is Young Avengers, Mic Drop at the Edge of Time and Space, this is volume 3 in the series, uh, this is by... Yeah, these people. I don't know how to pronounce the names. Uh, yeah, right there. And um, I read volume one and two not too long ago, and I really enjoy it. So uh, this is the third volume. I don't know if this is the last volume. I'm just gonna like tell you like final volume on the back or something. But this is the third volume, and can't wait to try read this. I really love the colors and the story. It's just really fun. And yeah. So that's all with my TBR I'm going to plan on reading, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below, tell me what you think, what you plan on reading this month. I hope you like and subscribe, and hope I see you again soon. Bye.